Good morning, everyone. It's 9.25. Um, I'm just about to get Aubrey her medication and some yogurt. I'm going to be putting her medication in her yogurt now. And then get her a drink on the side. So, we're laying in bed perfectly fine. I get up to go to the bathroom. I come back and she put freaking fingernail polish on my pillow. So, I have my pillow with the pillowcase in my washer right now. Oh, my God. Oh. So I have this, got these from the food pantry yesterday. So I'm gonna give her one of these. So hopefully she'll eat it. Gotta wait till 10.30 to have my coffee and eat. So for now, I'm gonna have water. And I know I didn't do a haul last night, but I picked up vanilla caramel sugar-free coffee creamer. I'm definitely having this today. I'm gonna smell it. Cause I'm gonna move for hot coffee again today. Oh, oh my god. It smells so good. So good. So now I have French vanilla. I have um, hazelnut and vanilla caramel. So. Why can't all medications be liquid form? <gasps> oh my god, you guys. I really wish it was. I really wish it was. Okay, so her, yo her medicine's in her yogurt here. Let's see if I can mix it in without her noticing it her gag reflex is very bad that I'm afraid to have her try swallowing pills yet because if she were to swallow this it would just be so much easier for me but I don't know if she'd swallow it. Can we tell them? Tell them what? The ice cream. I told them already. The, um, no, it wasn't an accident. Yes, it was yeah. an accident. No, I... Yogurt. It's not like he knows. Mommy made sure. Here. Hold on, guys. Uh, Aubrey's eating some cereal and having a monkey drink. One of those, like, Danimal smoothies. Huh, Aubrey? You like it? Well, I'm going to get my medication now and get a drink, and I'll see you guys later on. Okay, guys. Well, I have my coffee going, and I'm just waiting for it to go off. But look what I got at Walmart last night. I think Monica's had these before in her video. But it's turkey bites. It's like, it says protein punch um let's see here i know it's got five grams of fat but i'm sure if i would eat like three of them maybe the fat would go down but it's got no carbs seven grams of protein then this right here you guys i've tried the regular cheese ones and i did not like them i thought they were way too cheesy but this is bacon barbecue cheese crisp two carbs 10 gram um 10 grams of protein let's see here Wow, there's a lot of fat in them, though. So these are definitely going to have to be a treat for me. Um, oh, if you eat the whole container, it's 27 grams of, sh of fat. That's a lot. 
and five grams of carbs if you eat the whole thing. So this is just gonna have to be like a treat once in a while. But yeah, I picked these up. Pick these up. Um, let me show you what else I picked up. Um, I picked up some, some um, one third the less fat of chive and onion because I saw this. Hold on, me guys. I'll look at you guys real quick. Yeah, so I found this um, idea on Pinterest where you take pork rinds and you dip it in ch um, onion chive cream cheese. Oh my god. Oh my god. And the person in the picture had like the full, had the original one, which is, had like 15 grams of fat. This has five gra grams of total fat and then three grams of saturated fat, but it's for two tablespoons. So like Angel said, if you ever do it, do it for like a treat. Don't do it constantly or something like that. But I know even like maybe half, a, if I do like half a serving of pork rinds and like half a serving of, like not even half a serving of this, I know the fat will go down. But yeah, I picked that up at Walmart yesterday too. Uh, what else did I get? Um, I didn't really get much for myself, you guys. I picked up more lettuce because me and my daughter both like lettuce, like to have like um, salad and stuff. And I picked up this... Um, Bolt House Farms. It's cilantro avocado yogurt dressing. Let's see here. It's got 3.5 grams of fat. One gram of saturated fat. So that's the downside. But it's got one gram of carb. And plus it's got one sugar. So this will have to be definitely be a treat too. But I thought this was good. What do you want, Aubrey? I don't know. Okay, I'll, bring, I'll give you one, yeah? You did I was kidding, you silly. You didn't to nope, I didn't. I was kidding. No, okay, let's get her a juice box here. Sorry, guys, I have to put you in your usual place here. No, my God, huh? I can get my own juice box. No, 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 no. Can I get my own juice box? No, it gets opened a certain way. You have to open it a certain way so the box is good. Okay? I like getting these um, Kool Aid. The Capri Suns, there's no high, wait a minute, Aubrey, okay? No high food choice corn syrup, no artificial flavors or preservatives. Because with her having her autism, um, oh my goodness. The um, added colors is really bad. Like if you guys do your research, added colors is very bad. Like definitely the red dye. And then her Mimi found out, hold on, Aubrey, I gotta cut it over here. Um, her Mimi found out that, like, the blue dye is bad, too. So, um, this has no added colors. So, I know it does have, like, eight grams of sugar for, like, one pouch. But I feel like that that's definitely better than what the other ones have. So... Oh my God, Aubrey, huh? Yeah. It doesn't want to open up. Oh my goodness. Let's see if it works this time now. I turned it exactly the way it box says. There we go. There we go. There we go. See, it's just the... Uh, and then this is how you know there's no added colors when it's clear like that. Have it. Yes, Aubrey. I'm showing them. Well, I want to show them how there's no added colors for it, so it's good for you. No, no, no. Well, no juice is good for you, but it's better than the other ones, huh? Yeah. Like I said, no juice is good for anybody, but kids are different than adults. Like, I could, I could live off of like, uh, if I really desperately, desperately had to live off of um, water then obviously I would. But, um, kids are, unless you're like, I, like, I, re, you know how they always say, like, your first kid, you regret things and you don't do them with your second kid? I don't ever want to have another child. <laughs> but I know for sure that there's a lot of things that I would do with my second child that I did, I'm sorry, there's a lot of things that I would not do with my second child that I did with her a lot for one I would well 
she had I I breastfed her for like a week and TMI okay but like I got sore and I bled from from breastfeeding her and I think it's because she had like um I think she had tongue tie or whatever but they never they never looked at her mouth or anything like that and she, they have this obviously if you if you breastfed you know about cluster feeding where they like want to eat constant and they're on you 24 7 okay I could not deal with that like ugh. people I feel like I think breastfeeding moms are like oh my god I don't know how the heck they, they freaking deal with it because I couldn't I could never deal with it she had a binky and that's the one thing that I regret giving her was a binky my whole pregnancy I'm like oh my gosh she's never gonna have a binky like I didn't even buy any I, of course I got some at my baby shower but I didn't even buy any and I'm like uh, uh and then I was sat on breastfeeding obsessively breastfeeding not even having any formula so I went to Wick telling them that I was gonna breastfeed and then when I stopped breastfeeding and I went to formula I ended up having to buy formula for like over a month until I could get into Wick so like I regret giving giving the binky but she also her circumstances she was colic very colic like her father very colic so it was either it was either I had a crying child every night for like for some reason colicky babies um unless I'm I'm wrong but I think I think that they cry for like every t every day at the same time for like a long time which that was her she cried every night for like over an hour and the only thing that was to her was like her binky and me holding her so another thing is like my stepfather used to tell me that I hold her too much so like I could never really get anything done because <sighs> sorry guys my stepfather called me I had to like I called him earlier because I still have my dress shoes at my mom's house and my um I'm going Sunday to uh, my sister's getting married in October okay and I'm basically the only one that's in her wedding <laughs> so I have to I have to go and get like we went and I forget when we went I can probably look back through my, my my messages and stuff I forget when we went but we went to go get dresses so we have to go on Sunday at 2 o'clock to make sure that if we need any fitting like the fitting part of it if they have to fix anything on the dress or whatever so she wanted me to get some white flats I'm like I have black flats I don't have white flats so I was calling my stepfather to see if he can look in my old room for my dress shoes so he called me right when I was talking to you guys but basically there's a lot of things that I would do with my second child that I wouldn't do with my second child that I did with Aubrey basically which I feel like a lot of people probably feel that way My goal now is to drink one whole bottle of water before I even have coffee or food. That's my goal now. Because I don't, I can't have anything till 10.30 because I ate late last night. So it's still time for me to waste. So I'm going to drink this for now. But I just wanted to show you guys those snacks that I got last night. Oh, also, I'll show you guys because I didn't... Like I said, I didn't want to do a haul. I already did a big haul last week, like my last big haul. I went and spent $89, almost, yeah, like $89. So I didn't want to make another whole huge haul. Ugh. Cause I know they can get repetitive and, and I know myself, I love hauls. Like I can get, I can't get enough of watching hauls. But I was asking Angel if these um, tuna creations were fine. So I got two ranch and one herb and, herb and garlic. So the herb and garlic has um, one Mommy, you carb. Up my mess? What? Yeah, I'm I'll be right out in one minute, okay? Well, can you clean I'm trying I'm to show them the this. Mom. Okay, I'm trying to show them this, and then I'll go help you, okay? Well, I want barbecue chips. You want some bar some barbecue chips? Yeah. Okay. Barbecue chips. Hold on, guys. I'm just gonna give her. Uh, mommy's gonna put some in a baggie for you. You're not gonna have the whole thing. Please? No, you you don't need the whole thing, Aubrey. I want Slim Jim. Make it, she's a typical woman. She can't make up her mind. You can have that later on, okay? No, please. Aubrey, please. relax, please. My friend gave her a whole bunch of basically junk for her birthday. Ugh. There you go. Thank you, thank you. So, okay, so as I was saying here, um... So, 
I asked, because I forget who commented on one of my videos, one of Monica's um, subscribers that subscribed to me, she asked me um, if I've tried these two new creations. And Angel said that, that you can have them just, some of them have like sugar and stuff like that. Like there was a honey barbecue one, which, oh, I'm sure it was so good. <laughs> but it had sugar and more carbs in it. So like I was saying, this, tu this tuna creation herb and garlic, this one has four grams of fat. Now this is the whole pouch, you guys. Okay, this is the whole pouch. Um, four, so four, four grams of fat, um, one carb, because there's two carbs plus one fiber. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe there's two carbs because I, is it fiber you subtract or dietary fiber you subtract? So maybe it has two carbs and then 16 grams of protein. So, and Angel says you don't even have to add like mayo to it because um, it's got all that. It says lightly marinated premium chuck like tuna. So basically it's marinated in herb and garlic. So you really don't even need mayo for it. So I got that one and then I got two of the ranch ones. The ranch ones has one gram of fat, 70 calories, um, negative one, like the, you know what I'm talking about, the sign for like less than, okay, Aubrey, less than one gram of carbohydrates and then 15 grams of protein. So I most likely will be sticking with a ranch. You don't want them? Oh, she didn't even want them. Oh my God. But, and then I picked this up because Angel like, not Angel, I'm sorry, Monica has been eating it in her videos. So I went, I went in the aisle, I was like, ooh, I remember Monica's been eating that. So I picked up a can of sauerkraut. This has one gram. So this is for two tablespoons, which I wonder how much Monica eats because oh, this has zero fat, one gram of, of carb, one sugar, and zero protein. But that is for two tablespoons. And there's 14 servings in this thing. So I wonder how much Monica eats. I'm gonna have to ask her. Unless like, unless they make it frozen and maybe it's different frozen. Or maybe I didn't get the right can or whatever. I'm not sure. But what else did I get? And then of course I picked up some stuff for Aubrey. But like I told you, I got this too. Um, let me see if there's anything in the freezer. I did pick up I did pick up one more cauliflower rice and one more mashed cauliflower. So now I have two of each in my freezer. But yeah guys, I wanted to stock up on those because um let's put that up there. I wanted to stock up on those so that I had enough. And then of course like I got my daughter these mini cookie things. There's Oreo, Chips Ahoy, Nutter Butters, and then the um, mini Nutella ones. Um, these are going to be specifically just for Saturdays when she goes to group. I figured that that'd be fine just for Saturdays. And then I got like yogurt for her, more of her milk, um, more of her pudding. I picked up, um, oh my god, you guys talking about temptation omg this right here like all i have all i can do you guys is this which it tortures myself but i'm telling you guys if i was not on keto i probably would have eaten this whole thing last night <laughs> but it's a new one it's the chocolate peanut butter pie oh Oh my god. So this is gonna be she I let her try one last night to see if she liked them. But this is gonna be a treat for her. Like this is not gonna be a daily thing or more than one at a time type of thing. This is gonna be a treat for her. That's why I love how they make them like in the seal pack thing right here so that they, they last. So yeah guys, but that's basically what I got. I know there's more stuff in the fridge, I just can't think of it right now. But I'm going to have to ask Monica how she makes her sauerkraut stuff. Well, I know she made a video explaining how she made one of our sauerkraut recipes. So I'm going to have to ask her about how, how much she used.
but my cameras are basically stocked which like I've said many times 95% of what's up here is hers <laughs> which means my like willpower is like all, all very good and then I got her I got her some bananas which I only picked up a couple like four of them because she like I said she's the only one eating them and then I picked up this I think this is fine oh yeah it's got zero everything in it okay so it's um the decaffeinated cold brew um tea bags so I can make like iced tea and then I picked up some oh I used to pig out on these things you guys like crazy but these are the zesty ranch veggie straws and of course 17 grams of carbs for that's only for like 38 straws and then like seven grams of fat no way in hell I could ever have these obviously but my daughter loves the zesty ranch and these are the Walmart brands, so it's obviously cheaper. And then this was another treat that I got her. She tried it this morning. Just I wanted to see if she liked them, which I obviously knew she was going to because Reese's peanut butter cups are her favorite chocolate of all time. But because when I was a kid, you guys, um, I know times are different, so money was different and everything like that. But when I was a kid, I never got like brand names food i never got like brand name clothes i mean like what i mean brand name clothes may my mom and my and my dad mainly shopped at like walmart and the salvation army okay i'll be right there so i never got all this aubrey i'm talking i'll be right there in a minute no, i'll be right there to help you i'm trying to tell them about your cereal hold on no, so wait a minute aubrey Yes, I will in a second. I'm showing them the box of your cereal. Then I will be right there. So I got her these Reese's Puffs. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, now this is three grams of fat. Okay. 21 grams of carbohydrates. Now this is only for three fourths of a cup and there's 11 servings in here. And then, oh, right here. Other carbohydrates and 12 grams. Oh my God. But I'm telling you, if I was not on keto, I could eat this whole box. <laughs> like, that's how bad it, like, that's how good these are to me. Like, Reese's is my favorite chocolate, too. Like, but I only gave her, like, um, her size bowl with not even the half, not even close to half the bowl being full with a little bit of her milk. And that's what she, she had a little bit of this. Because I'm sure if I were to give her a bigger bowl, she would have kept eating it. But she do not she does not need it at all uh-uh this was another treat item that i got for her because sometimes i want to if she wants something different and is sick of having the same stuff then i mix things around and give her something different that's why i had her try these this morning which i obviously like i said knew she was gonna love it but and then um that's basically it but i'm gonna go help her because she made a mess and thinks that i have to clean it up so and then i'm gonna put my water on um i have look i have like this much left if you guys can notice so and i have um my pillow and my pillowcase in here and getting washed because she put fingernail polish remover on my pillow and now my pillow isn't going to be like the actual size and all together yeah i'm coming right now so I'll see you guys in a minute. Hi guys, it's 128 and um, I just went online and ordered Aubrey some more lunch container stuff. She got a gift card from her grandfather for her for her birthday. She's so She's on accident. Well pick it up. Come see. No, you pick it up. Come see. Go pick it up. Come see. Okay, I will in a second go. Well, go pick it up. Okay, go pick it up. Oh, my God. But, um, yeah, so she got, like, a Visa gift card for her birthday from her grandfather. So I went on to Amazon, ordered some, um, the Yum Box lunch container. And then I went on to Good Bin, the website, and ordered some from there. Um, so that's what I was just doing. I got myself dressed, clean up a little bit in the kitchen, and now I'm gonna like vacuum in here. And her ABA is coming from three to five today. So, like I said, she'll. I told her she can come early if she wants, so she might come early. 
like 2.30, 2.45. So I'll make sure that I that I'm all set for when she comes. But yeah, guys, we just been lounging and I went upstairs and got dressed. Um, I have some boxes that need to go outside. Got to clear off the table like usual. Um, I heated up my coffee because it was cold. So I heated up my coffee. So it's over there now. Um, so that's basically it. So I'll see you guys when I'm done cleaning in here. Hi guys, it's 2.15. I'm cleaning the filter in my AC. So excited you guys, so I'm going to see Mile 22 tonight with Ronda Rousey. So excited. See, I clean my filter in my sink. It gets everything off of it. I know a lot of people like use like a dust broom or or something like that. My AC lets me know when it needs to be cleaned. So. Okay guys, so I'm gonna finish up cleaning before her ABA comes. Oh, hi guys, it's like 3.32 and I'm walking down to the bank to go cash my Ebates check. So I got a $25.13 um, Ebates check. So I'm going over here to cash it. You can tell I haven't been outside yet today, it's kinda hot, <laughs> but been having that piece of gum in my mouth for a long time. Okay guys, well I'm gonna go down here and cash this check and I'll see you when I get out of the bank. Oh my god guys, I'm walking home and I feel, I feel raindrops. What the heck? No raindrops. Oh, crap. Okay, guys, well, I'm almost up over here to my house. So I'll see you guys later on. Hey, guys, just came upstairs to grab a shirt. It's 5.07, and I'm about to leave to go out for the night. So I will see you guys when I get home. Hey, guys, long time no see. It's 10.45. Um, I'm home. Picked up Aubrey from my mom's house. She's in bed. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go downstairs, clean up a little bit. I'll actually tell you what I did. Um, we, I went out with my dad. We went to Red Robin. I got the wedgie burger, which is basically a burger, guacamole. It did have, like, one slice of onion on it. It had some bacon. And it had tomato, which I picked off a tomato because I don't like tomatoes on sandwiches anyways. Then it had, uh, so yeah, so the lettuce, the guacamole, the burger, um, the onion, and the tomato. So I took the, I did have the one, it was like a small little slice of onion, but then I took the tomato off, and I had, what should they call it, like a wedgie burger. And like I said, it has bacon on it too. And then instead of like a side salad or a side of fries, I did broccoli. And then I had a Diet Coke with it for dinner. So that's what I had for dinner tonight. Um... Then me and my dad went to go see uh, Mile 22 with Ronda Rousey. 
So we, I'm gonna make sure that Aubrey's asleep good in here. Oh yeah, she's back to sleep. Oh yeah. She was sleep. Oh sorry guys. She was sleeping at my mom's house when I went to go pick her up. So I just came home, gave her her melatonin, and she's back to sleep. So my house is cold because I had my AC on the whole time. But um. Yeah, guys. So I'm gonna head over next door to my brother's house real quick. Um, because I guess his girlfriend wants to see me real quick. And then I'll be coming back over. So I'll see you guys when I get back.